Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can synchronize hub permissions to the associated site. Now, let me explain to you this feature and the scenario, the use case. So here I have a hub. This is a hub site and um, you know a communication site, but happens to be a hub site. And I have a few sites connected to this hub right here. And let's navigate to one of them, John's team site right here. It's part of the hub. And because it's part of the hub, of, of course, it has common you know, navigation, common theme, etc. Now, each and every site within the hub has its own security. So for example, uh, let's just say here, we have a few members. I guess both members are owners, but we can have some owners. We can have some members uh, who have access to the site. At the hub level, we might have completely different uh, security and permissions. Uh, for example, uh, let's check uh, who has access to this particular site. Uh, well, no one except for me. Uh, let's make uh, a change. Let's add everyone uh, just to you know, show you an example. So here we go. I'm just adding everyone right here. So everyone has read-only access to this, um, to this site, to this main hub. Now, here's the situation. Um, in some cases, you want you know, everyone within the hub who is part of the hub to have at least read-only access to all the associated sites. So right now, again, what I just did, I added everyone within my organizations to the site. So they have access, read-only access to the site. However, when they navigate to one of the team sites, one of the, one of the associated team sites, Unless they're members of the site, they obviously don't have any access to the site. So they will get access denied. Now, in some cases, you know, this is probably totally valid, right? You don't want people to have access, but maybe if you created a hub and it consists of, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 sites, you want some users, um, you know, well, uh, in, in those situations, you want this users to at least have read-only access to all the sites within the hub. Let's just pretend that this is uh, the use case. Um, the only way for you to achieve this uh, would be to go to each and every site and you know essentially manually add everyone uh, to as a visitor right to each and every associated site. However, we now have a new way of doing so uh, and the feature is called hub sync uh, permissions. And let me show you how to uh, configure it. So what you need to do, a uh, couple of steps. You need to navigate to the main hub, right here to the main hub site. And we just click on site permissions. And of course, we get to see the three security groups uh, that we saw previously. And what you need to do is click on hub and enable this toggle right here. So sync hub permissions to associated site. By uh, default, it's off. You need to enable it. And what you need to do is you need to specify the group, the security group that will serve as, you know, the hub visitors, essentially the group that will be added to all the associated sites. And uh, in my case, you can use uh, any of the security groups you have. Uh, but uh, in my case, again, I'm going to add everyone right here. So that's step number one that you need to do. Step number two you need to now navigate to each and every site because this doesn't, we just enabled the feature at the hub level. This doesn't mean that automatically everyone has access to all the sites now. Uh, each site owner makes the decision. So in that case, I'm the owner of the site. So what I can then do, uh, I can then do the following gear icon, site permissions. And of course I get to see uh, all my regular you know, security groups. But then if I click on hub here, I can choose to sync hub permissions to my site. Again, it's off by default, right? Maybe you don't want that. Obviously it's off by default, but now I decided to synchronize it and look at this. It added my hub visitors group to my site now. Of course, if I change my mind, I can always you know, um, disable this toggle again, but uh, I just enabled it. Now, let me show you what actually happens when you enable this feature. Let's go back to the hub site. Um, very, very important. Uh, gear icon, site permissions. All right. And you're going to see this three security groups right here. 
However, let's click on advanced permissions settings. What happened was, so by default, we only have three security groups, visitors, members, owners. When I enabled this um, HubSync permissions in a feature, it added a, another group, another security group to my site, to my hub site. And if I click here, look at this, you get to see the everyone, uh, everyone except external users, the group I added uh, as the visitor group uh, to, to my hub site. All right. Uh, if I now navigate to uh, one of my associated team sites, let's double check that. Again, gear icon, site permissions, advanced permission settings. Look at this. Again, we see three groups by default, and we also get to see this fourth group now, hub visitors, right? And this group appeared here, not only because I enabled this you know, toggle at the hub level, but remember, uh, I also enabled it at the team site level, right? As a site owner, I decide whether or not I want to sync permissions from the hub or not. So, and um, in this case, I did allow for that and it added this for the group. So very, very important. And this is really critical because sometimes you might, as a site owner, you might go in and click gear icon, site permissions, and, and you could be led to believe that, uh, hey, no one else has access uh, to my site. But no, no, you have to double check this uh, hub tab over here and check for the presence uh, or for this toggle switch and for, for the presence of this uh, hub visitors group as well. So very, very important for you to understand. And of course, if you need to disable it, you can always turn off the toggle. Uh, but uh, in this case, let's leave it on. All right, so that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned uh, a new feature today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.